As you probably know by now, a status red wind warning has been issued for Cork for three hours tonight as Storm Ellen enters the country. Met Aaron have said that the red warning will remain in place between 9pm and midnight as the storm produces a core of very severe and destructive winds. Joining me on the line now is Alan O'Reilly from Carla Weather and Ralph Regal, Southern Correspondent of the Irish Independent. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us in the hard shoulder. Alan, I'll start with you. Uh, where is Storm Ellen coming from? It's coming from the southwest, so it's the remnants of um, Hurricane Kyle, which basically blew itself out coming across the Atlantic. But it's now being powered up by the jet stream and it's tracking towards the, the south of Ireland, um, not too far off the southwest coast. Um, and it's it's intensifying quite quickly, but it's, it's still developing, which makes it a, a tricky little storm to try and forecast exactly where it's going to hit and to pinpoint the centre of that and then obviously the impacts um, that, that that's going to cause. So as you say, the, weather, the red warning has been issued for Cork, um, but some of the latest weather models show the centre of the storm a little further east. So um, areas of Waterford, etc., should should be on high alert also. And those weather warnings could well be updated and changed um, very late in the day because, as I say, in fairness to Met Aaron, it's very hard to predict where exactly this storm is going to hit. Um, and there is orange level warnings for, for obviously much of all of Munster and Galway and Mayo and yellow for the rest of the country. And really, I suppose, Mark, this time of the year when trees are in full leaf, you know, you've mm-hmm. saturated the ground, the impact of a yellow and orange event at this time of the year can be a lot more than would be if we if we got it in a few months' time. So, you know, maybe don't concentrate too much on the colour um, that you're seeing in your county and, and really take precaution. And obviously people that are near the coast, there's a risk of coastal flooding and there's also a risk of some very heavy rain the heaviest of the rain will be on the western side of the centre. So again, hard to pinpoint, but there would be a, a fear from looking at the weather models at West Cork, which has seen some awful flooding in recent times, could again see some very heavy rainfall. And that's just not just tonight, that's also tomorrow and tomorrow night as well. Mm. So there's a few different parts of this, Mark, makes it a bit of a, a messy situation. Well, of course, uh, you know, we badly underestimated uh, um, yellow and orange um, um, a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, I was down in the farming actually um, just after it and uh, the subsequent rains and it was it, it, it like it was monsoon like. So, um, you, you know, if people are saying, oh, well, look, Cork is going to get the red. We're going to be all right with a bit of orange and a bit of yellow. That's not the case. You, you should not take that for granted just because it happens to be August. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing is to keep an eye on the Met Air and, uh, weather warnings because they they have been changing throughout the day and they can still change. And I would say to advise people, Mark, to stick to the Met Air and official warnings. There's, there's a few fake alerts going around on social media, etc. But they are the, the official weather warnings. So keep an eye on them, but don't don't kind of say it's yellow, it's grand. I leave the trampoline where it is. Like if I have a trampoline in Carlo, I'd be tying it down as best as I could right now. Um, don't don't really, and I suppose, get complacent. And unfortunately, as I say, the rain, the storm surge, and, and obviously people at the moment are out on tents, you know, they're in caravans and mobile homes, etc. And really near the coast, it's going to be exceptionally windy tonight. And, and that's something you'd expect for this time of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ralph Regal is also on the line with us, Ralph, the uh, Southern Correspondent with the Irish Independent. Ralph, we spoke yesterday about concerns about flooding. Uh, what are the conditions uh, there like today? And, uh, you know, there was a few areas that took a right battering. I'm assuming it hasn't got much better for them. No, it hasn't. No, certainly the floodwaters have eased a little bit, but the major concern, Mark, very much as Alan said, is that if parts of West Cork, uh, where you have very swollen um, rivers and streams, if they're exposed to significant levels of rainfall, you're going to be looking at significant flood events again over the next couple of days. And the concern is that, you know, this weather isn't going to ease within 24 hours. I think we're talking about two to three days of very blustery conditions and very heavy rainfall. Now, in Cork at the moment, I mean, we're, they're bra- everyone is bracing themselves for this status um, red alert. It comes into force at nine o'clock tonight. And and it's very much a movable feast. I mean, there's concern about precisely where the, the worst of the winds hit. At the moment, we're talking about um, violent storm force 11, potentially. So you're talking about wind gusts, which could be anywhere between 100 kilometres an hour to possibly 120, 130, possibly even reaching 140 um, in very short spells off the, the, the West Coast. So anyone who's near exposed coastal areas, the advice is take adequate precautions or go home. Um, there's also a lot of concern about the storm surge. Um, again, how significant that's going to be, particularly for low-lying areas. There was a lot of concern earlier today for Cork City that a storm surge combined with high tides could result in some localised flooding.